Hey, what's up, family? This right here is my sensational and spectacular wife, Young. And this right here is my debonair and dapper husband, Aguizé. <laughs> yeah, I did too. <laughs> you did, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, check this out, y'all. So, when it comes to you connecting in with your partner, you really getting close and, and really filling your boot. You know, y'all are really vibing on a different level. It's really important that you have some laughter in your relationship, that you have some fun. You know, things ain't always got to be serious in your relationship. Now, granted, we are licensed therapists and we do help couples get through their stuff, but it's not always focusing on the negative. It's not always focusing on the challenges. We got to focus on the positive experiences, the love, the warmth, yeah. the joy that you experience throughout the course of your relationship, or at right. least in the beginning of your relationship. Yeah. If you're not having fun with your boo, it's a problem, y'all. Problem. It's an indicator that there's a lack of connection in the relationship. And so you want to make sure you're sprinkling that that joy, that laughter, that playful banter, that talking about the kids, talking about the coworkers, talking about each other. You want to make sure you're sprinkling that in on a regular basis because, again, it lightens the mood and it increases and enhances the emotional connection. Mm -hmm. So when we work with couples and we have them come before us, right, we help them uh, because they come to us with some problem, right? You know, so in therapy, that's what you're typically working on. You're working mm -hmm. on a problem. But what uh, is often surprising for people is that once we come up with their relationship action plan, we're focused on the things that they need to do individually and collectively, then what we start to strategize around is how they're going to connect. Mm -hmm. How are you going to connect? What are you going to do to make sure that you are not only connecting, but that you're having fun, that you have some spontaneity in the uh, relationship? How y'all going to flow with it? And, you know, focus on like, oh, okay, yeah, we're going to do that. Like, all right, but can we get back to what the issue is? Yeah. <laughs> you know, but let me tell you what he said the other day. And we get that. And that's important. But guess what? That's going to always be there. There are going to always be issues. There are going to always be difficulties. What mm -hmm. sustains successful couples is the ability to have a, a baseline to come back to. And your baseline must be joy. Mm -hmm. Your baseline must be connection. Because if you can't get connected, how you going? You, you don't fall all the way off the next uh, uh, hill you have to go up uh, together. And so we cannot overemphasize enough how important it is to do this. So how I do that? How we do that when we ain't been... When the last time we had a date was like two months ago. And the yeah. last time we had sex was like six, seven weeks ago. You better not be laughing when we having sex, though. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I ain't talking about them laughing. I'm talking about connection, it's right? Connection, how, yeah. how do we get back to that? And so I, I want to tell you that it is important um, and it can be very helpful depending on how far down the road y'all are, right? Mm -hmm. In terms of kind of being off. Um, it can be very helpful to have some accountability and that's what something like counseling or coaching or uh, something like that helps to do to have some accountability in the process. But let me tell you something. It ain't that complicated. What you need to do is you need to make time for it. Mm -hmm. We make time for the things that are important to us. How many times do we say that? You know, like, well, if it's really important, then you'll make time for it. Point blank, period. It really is that simple. That means you have to schedule it in. It means somebody has to initiate doing something different. It means you need to see who's coming to town. Is a, is a concert? Is somebody, you know, coming that we want to see or that I want to see? There's a movie. Let's go out to dinner. We don't do that. Do it. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to take the first step. And whoever has the most insight is compelled and they're obligated to initiate. So, y'all, y'all got to have fun. You ain't got to be a comic. You ain't got to be a comedian. You ain't got to have, you know, all kinds of tricks and stuff. Mm -hmm. You just got to do something. Get up off your and do something. So yeah. that's what we're encouraging you to do today. To not only take in all of the strategies of how to take your relationship to the next level, but just straight up be a fool. Just straight up be a fool. And in order to be a fool, you got to be willing to be what? Vulnerable. Mm -hmm. You got to be willing to, you know, look kind of silly. Right. And, and take it back to when y'all first met. And maybe you always have been a very serious person. And that's great. But sometimes you need to laugh. A lot of times you need to do that. So oh, please make sure you take time to connect, 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 because none of the stuff that we share and that we teach will work if you're not connected and you're not having fun mm -hmm. along the way. But you can't do any of this if you do not stop playing. And start pushing. Peace, y'all.